This is Will at the 2012 IPCPR show, and I am here with Antonio Lamb, uh, the man behind Renato Cigars. Um, and Antonio's line is a real interesting boutique, and um, we're happy to take a couple minutes to talk to Antonio. So, Antonio, thank you very much. You're welcome, William. Always glad to be talking to you. So, tell us a little about Renato. Absolutely. Um, this is the core line right here. Renato is, means rain in Spanish, and we've been out for two years on the market. It's a boutique blend. Um, it's all, all Nicaraguan Puro, and we've got a Havana Rosado on the core blend here. I'm gonna go through the sizes. This is the Petite Corona right here. It's a four by 38. It's done very well for us. It's scored a 92 in Cigar Journal, and I can't keep it on the shelf. It's really like eight weeks on back order already. We just got the shipment back in and people are going nuts for it. So we're really happy with the success of the Habanito right here. Um, then we can move on to the Robusto, which is over here. This Robusto has done really well for us as well. It's a medium to full. And then the Torpedo, has scored a 91 in Smoke Magazine. It's a very well-balanced, medium-bodied, and uh, delicious. We also round it out then with a 660 in the core line, which is the bigger ring gauge, solid medium body with a lot of flavor for that ring gauge. We uh, were happy with the success of that. That's called the Emperador for us. And that pretty much rounds out the core line for Reynado. So one thing you've done, Antonio, as far as the core line has, um, is you, you have a unique fermentation process. And without diverging any secrets, why do you think that gives you an advantage or a differentiator with your product? Well, what that does is it makes the Puro really rich and smooth. And that's, the, that's been the goal since day one for this blend. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get away from any harshness that, that a Puro brings. I wanted to have just the flavor really resonate with a very smooth, smooth uh, undertone. Excellent, excellent. That's and what I wanted. Excellent. So the next uh, generation, our next product is your new box press Grand Empire Reserve. Right. This takes it to the next level. What we've done is we've taken the core blend and we've taken it to the next level. We've added a uh, Habano Rosado, I mean Habano Maduro, excuse me, wrapper on it, which is really delicious. And then we've added a Nicaraguan filler, aged filler, which really, really creates rich undertones in it. And we've also extended the unique fermentation process in the blend to give it more depth. That's what we wanted. So I think we've achieved that pretty successfully here. It's a medium to full plus uh, kind of strength and just like off the charts in terms of flavor. We've got one size that we've la we're launching here. It's called the Elegidos. And that means the chosen in Spanish, 20 to a box. They're 5x55 five five box press, and we're looking, uh, you know, in the short future for maybe like one or two sizes to extend the line, but we're taking our time with it because uh, this size is very successful, and we want to see where the blend wor would work. Um, you know, maybe we're thinking a Petit Lancero has been mentioned, uh, and maybe like a Corona Gorda has been mentioned as well. So I'm, uh, I'm looking at that. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Antonio, good show so far? Excellent show, excellent show. We got off to a little bit of a slow start, but things have picked up really nicely. Uh, people are really buzzing around about the blend right now. The Grand Empire Reserve right here, which you have reviewed, William, is uh, getting a lot of attention. Very successful, and we're very happy with the uh, progress. Absolutely, that is a fa you know the core line was fantastic, and uh, the Grand Empire Reserve I think even took it to the next level there. Thank you. So, so Antonio, you uh, you know you're, you're you've been around the cigar industry. Um, you obviously really have a pulse, especially on Nicaraguan tobacco. But I think as an industry as a whole, you and I have talked from time to time. What are your perspectives right now? What's uh, what going on in the cigar industry? Any trends or any thoughts as far as that goes? Well, sure. The um, the 660 and the big gauges, it, oddly enough, are, are still holding in there. I think. But interestingly enough, a lot of people I think are talking about the thinner gauges and that that I think like Lanceros. And the T Lanceros is, is what I feel like a lot of the industry is uh, really going for and shining right now. Absolutely. Well, Antonio, thanks for taking a couple of minutes uh, this morning at the IPCPR trade show. This is Will signing off. Um, thanks again to Antonio Lamb. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it.